Okay. This uh, image here appears in my forum, and it was submitted by a user. And uh, I commented on the picture, and he wrote me back. He said that the reason that the head appears to float is that the T-shirt the boy was wearing had a uh, restaurant logo on it, and and uh, which he felt distracted from the picture, and that he wasn't sufficient uh, uh, sufficiently skilled in Photoshop to uh, remove the the T-shirt, and so. Uh, uh, the boy's head continues to float out of a tree to this day on my farm. So I asked him if he if he wouldn't mind sending me the uh, original and that I'd uh, do a, a Photoshop kindergarten uh, tutorial for him. So here we go. This is the original image, and there's the logo that he said he didn't know how to get rid of. So, okay, the first thing I'm going to ask that we do is we're going to make a duplicate copy of this uh, um, background layer. Control J, hold down Control while pressing the letter J, and that'll give you a, a copy. That way you always have the original in case you screw up anything. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a quick mask to make a selection around the lettering here and uh, what we'll do is we'll go up to our brush tool and we'll move down to where we want to paint over the uh, the, the lettering on the t-shirt and we'll s s resize our brush accordingly and let's see I think that's about right there and the way I resize my um, brushes is right next to the P key on your uh, keyboard, ne uh, the letter P like in Peter. To the right of that are two bracket keys. There's the left bracket key and the right bracket key. The left bracket key increases the size of the brush and the right bracket key decreases the size of the brush and I think this one will suffice right here next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to zoom in to my image and recheck the size of my brush and this is good right here now the next thing I need to do is just hit the Q key on the keyboard no, nothing happens to the image. You don't see anything. But if we begin to paint, you'll see red appear. And what I'm going to do is just paint around the key. Uh, paint around the letters. <laughs> Did I say key? I'm sorry. All right. And I'm going to fill that all in right there. Okay, and that looks good right there. And then I'll zoom out. Now I'll hit the letter Q again, and that puts marching ants around everything but the lettering. In other words, everything is selected but the lettering. So I need to reverse that. So in order to do that, I'll hold down the Control, the Shift, and then the letter I. I stands for inverse and it inverses it. Now just the lettering is selected. Now I'll create a brand new layer above that. Okay. And then I'm going to use the clone key, uh, clone tool. And I'm going to resize that brush too. And that looks good right there. Now you, you need to make sure that you have all layers. Uh, you don't see it in, in, in the screen because the screen's not big enough, but the sample image right next to here on the right side of this, it should say all layers. It could say the current layer, the cur current and below, or all layers. Make sure you uh, choose all layers. And I have aligned checked also. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to sample holding down the alt key I'm going to sample from this area right here and I'm just going to paint right over and if I make a mistake I'll do, all I have to do is resample again and I think I need to resample from here just to match that area right in there and then I can deselect by holding down control and the letter D now if we look really closely it doesn't look all that well so what way I'll do what I'll do now is I'll go into the spot healing brush tool and I'm gonna choose the healing brush tool the second one down and I'm gonna resample that off uh, resize the brush on this and I'll just sample from an area over here and I'll just fill it in anywhere that I think it needs to be filled in whoops <laughs> made a mistake right there If you make a mistake, you just have to hold down Control Z. All right, now we got the lettering down here, and because there's not very much detail here, I'm just going to use my brush tool, and I'm going to pick a good size for that. And all I'm going to do is hold down the Alt key and sample a color that I'd like to pick up, and I've chosen this color right here. I'm just going to paint in this area. And I'm going to paint it in very carefully. Let me get it in really close. and maybe this area right here okay let's zoom back out all right so this is what we began with and that's what we ended up with it, I think it looks more gooder than a, this dark space in, in the trunk of a tree with this head just appearing out of nowhere at least I know that the, the kid is playing around inside the tr tree trunk and is posing for this picture thank you